Do you love old cars and trucks? Join us on Bring Them Back to Life, where we search the salvage yards and backyards of America to find that gold mine of a parts car or that restorable gem in the rough. Come with us down memory lane as we elevate the status of our salvage yards to outdoor museums of automotive history. I see you, she says. <laughs> okay, we found the yellow birdhouse. We're on our way to meet Amanda. There she is, waiting at the gate to let us in. She's opening the gate now. Ooh, this looks bad. Can we get through? <laughs> Keep going, she said. <laughs> Good morning, or afternoon. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're locked in now. <laughs> it looks like they just rebuilt their driveway. Um, I will just show, as just with driving up your personal driveway, which you have to maintain with your own equipment, because it's, what, a mile long? <laughs> oh, it's way long. It goes all over the ranch. So I have 10 llamas in here too, so. Ah, to graze and keep it down a little. I just, uh, I rescued them from a lady that's older than me who had them and her family said, you have to do something with them because you can't take care of them anymore. So she called me and she brought over two truckloads of them and dumped them off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here is a Plymouth. Trailblazer. Prospector version. Two door. Trail duster. Sport. Four wheel drive. That's as close as you're going to get to a Plymouth truck. That must be an old ice cream truck. International. Right hand drive. Well, it might have even been a U.S. post office at the time. There's another pretty old Ford truck. Yep, Amanda said Jim loved Fords. We saved a lot of the nice pickups. For all you Ford guys watching, even I love some of these. There's another old Volvo over there. Yeah, it's a two-door. There's an early Honda Civic. Two-door. No broken glass. Just got some dents. Good parts car. Oh, they're 70s era Maverick, 70 mid 70s Pinto, 
some more Ford pickups. 58. Comes another two door Maverick. Another Comet. Fairlane 500 Ford on. Boy, this goes on. And the F85 Olds. Early to mid 60s. Ambassador Custom. Well, here's a Ford station wagon. Four door. Country sedan. And it's a 56. Nice chrome on the front of that car. Somebody bought the rear bumper. For obvious reasons, it must have looked like the rest of the chrome. There's still a nice tailgate on that. No, here's another. 55 or 6 Ford. This is a two door sedan. This is a standard shift car. And it's a V8. And it's also a 56. Boy, these two cars would be beautiful. Parts or resto rods. That wagon and this two-door sedan. And I do like 56 Fords, even though I chose to collect all the Chevys for 56. The two-door sedan Falcon. And a bumper's been bent up, but I think the grill survived. Mini Hillmans. And up there is a, another Mini Hillman. That one's a salesman's. Oh, and that one right here I'm looking at is a convertible. Yes, and that one drove here. It did? Yes. Oh. And that one up there lived over in the homestead and had a tree growing up through it. <laughs> oh, I see that coming up through the bumper and grill. Yeah, so... So that's a Holman. I, I did videotape that earlier, but I couldn't see what make it was. Yeah. So that's a Holman, and these here are Holmans. They're Hillmans. Hillmans. But you can say home with As you can see, they're smiling faces. 
<laughs> and it's a delivery. Yeah, that's my cargo van, and I wanted it painted purple, and I wanted to take it cross country, but it never happened. So here's the old orange truck. Stuck my butt out. <laughs> so yeah, and that's with the winch on it. The homemade wrecker. Yeah. That's about a 56 Ford, I think. Jim would Jim yep. said it was a 54, but 54? Well they they're really close looking in that area because they they kept the same cabs for years. Yeah. Yep, so that's the orange truck. We would like to restore it. Take it in parades in town or something. Boy, that was a heavy duty rig. It was very noisy. Well, this is how a lot of history moved by truck. And this was Jim's oh diamond tea. Wow. For well, the day it was built, it was the top of the line. Here's his name. Like I said, my camera moves because I step in holes and trip on stuff. Sorry. Much to show. <laughs> You know, That's the way I said. <laughs> exactly. So here's here's your private little collection, huh, it Amanda? Is, these are my these are my forty nine. This one is really a forty nine Ford, and it's been oh, it's on a modern chassis. It's it's been jacked up, and it's it's four wheel drive, and right. And uh, Jim bought that special for me one birthday, and oh, hopefully to restore it. But these things didn't happen, so. This makes me very happy. I just I, driving down. I here. love this because, I, t to my mind, they're all smiling at me. Mm -hmm. and they're, they're all your friends. They're all very happy to be safe, and I love them. Jefferson Como Fire Station number five, right down the street from Amanda Woodbury. Here's the local fire department that Jim belonged to.